Hi there! Well, today I am doing a Get Ready With Me style video. As you can probably clearly tell, I have not done anything to my hair or makeup. I've done a little bit of prepped my skin, just the moisturizer and stuff, and I'm going to show you all of that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is kind of show you a behind-the-scenes look of the products that I've picked out, what I'm working with, and then we will just go ahead and jump into the makeup part of it. Um, I've chosen the Dior Rosy Tan Palette to work with for this look, so and along with a few other things. So let me show you that really quick and then we'll get back to the makeup. So I thought I would just give you a behind the scenes look at what is happening here at my vanity. So that's me. That's me in the viewfinder. So I'm hoping to use that and this as a combination to get a clear picture for you of this whole get ready with me style video. I have all of my makeup laid out here. So this is the Dior Rosy Tan Palette. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette for blush and bronzer. I have my Bobbi Brown Custom Palette. I'm going to be using one of her powders as my eyeliner today. And then I have one of my favorite Chanel glosses. This is Chanel Rose Sauvage. So I'm going to be using that. And I have my coffee and water. So we are fully hydrated and fueled up and ready to go. And then the only thing that I have done already to start is to prep my skin. So I used actually my CeraVe PM instead of AM because um, I'm not planning on going outside today. Everything I have to do is indoors. So I just wanted to use some moisturizer without sunscreen. And then I have my Guerlain Meteorites Primer. I used a little bit of my favorite Soft Lips Lip Balm. And then I used my Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to prep my eyes. Oh, and also um, this little Lorac Eye Primer. I used that today as well. This came with the... Um, Lorac Pro Palette 2, the one that I did swatches for you on. So anyway, that is it. I've got my beauty blender here and I am all ready to go. My microfiber and yeah, so we will see how this shall go. So let's go ahead and dive into the makeup portion of the program here. I'm just going to get my hair pulled back so it is out of my way. You know, it's funny with these Get Ready With Me videos. I haven't done one in forever, so I was kind of nervous to remember, you know, how to go about doing these. But it's so funny because, you know, normally with a beauty video, we spend so much time getting ready and uh, preparing and doing all these things to make sure we look just right for the video. And then with these, you literally just get out of the shower and go for it. So it's kind of funny, but, and kind of nerve wracking at the same time. But anyway, so I have my eyes prepped with my Lorac primer, as I mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Dior Rosy Tan Palette. I'm not someone that likes to do my foundation first. I get, you know, sometimes fallout and things from shadows. So I just like to do that last. I know that's probably not the right way to go about it, but that's just what I always do. So I'm going to start with this and I use um, sometimes all five shadows from this and sometimes I skip the pink one and use everything else but I think today I'll just go ahead and use everything in it so I can show you if I were to do that what that would look like and my brushes aren't clean just a heads up so I think the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with this light neutral color down here in the corner. I'm going to put this all over my lid and then pretty far up into the crease. And for this, I am using a MAC 217. And by the time you see this, you've just seen um, my most used makeup brushes video. And this was definitely in it. It's one of my favorites. It's one that I use every day. And I really like it. I think it's really versatile for packing color on the lid and then also going up into the crease and things like that. And I actually go up pretty far because in this particular palette, this color sort of also acts as my transition color. So I want it a little bit higher up. It's so light and so neutral. So it's just fine in my opinion to do that. I'm gonna go back now and add this second lightest shade here. This is a little bit somewhat shimmery or maybe it's more of a sheen and I'm gonna use this as my crease color. So let me go in with that. And for this one, I am using my Sigma Taper Blending Brush, my E35. It's a little bit fluffier, so it's good for crease work. I'm just going to go in and do this. I gotta tell you, it is so hot in here today in my little, my little layer here. I have that big fan going that's outside in the den, but it's still so warm. But I also have 10 light bulbs on me, so that makes a little bit of a difference too. I try not to turn these lights on until I'm absolutely ready to film because it's just so incredibly warm in here sometimes. As you can see, I am getting a little bit of fallout here. Um, sometimes I will hold this, you know, up underneath, which I'll probably do when I do my liner, but 
for right now it's okay. It's not such a dark shadow that it really makes a difference and I'll go clean that up with my foundation later on. But um, I usually use a pretty light hand with this. I don't get it too dark for like a neutral sort of everyday look. So I think I'm pretty happy with the amount of um, pigmentation that I have here. But what I am going to do is go back in with this color down here and I'm going to add a little bit more here at the transition just to blend it in a little bit better and I think for that I'm going to use something a little bit fluffier um, I think for this I'm going to go ahead and use a Sigma taper blending this is E40 so I'm going to get a little bit of that lightest color there on my brush again and just go in here and soften that edge a little bit. Now um, the next color that I want to do is go ahead and put a little bit of a brow bone highlight. So I'm going to use the middle color here for that and then I'm probably going to go back and blend a little bit more but I'm going to be using my Sigma Pro Shader number 18. It's another one that I mentioned in my most used makeup brushes video. I'm just going to get a little bit of that on here and tap it off. Just sort of put that right as close to my excuse me, as my eyebrow here as possible. Sorry, my <clears throat> allergies are bothering me today, so I'm a little bit kind of stuffy, and it's just the time of year here. We are getting rain. It's that time of year where we're getting rain every single day, so everything's really blooming and flourishing, which is really nice because all the plants and everything look so nice, but it's uh, kind of a lot if you were an allergy sufferer. Brow bone highlight put down so I'm going to go back in with this fluffy brush and again just sort of I'm cleaning this off a little bit in between. I'm going to go back in and just sort of bring that all together a little bit. I kind of blend as I go and then at the end I will also blend it all together. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of definition to the outer V. So for that I'm going to be using this darkest color down here in this corner. This has a little bit of shimmer to it, not so much when you get it on, but it's enough that I don't like to use it as my liner, but I do definitely like to use it every time I use this palette. This is my Sigma E30 brush. I think this is one of the only pencil brushes that I have. So I'm just getting a little bit of that on there. I'm going to tap it off and for this I am going to go and try to be a little bit more careful because this will get all over my face. It doesn't have a ton of fallout, no more so than any other dark pigmented shadow would, but just enough that I want to be a little bit more careful so I don't smear it on my face later on. I'm just going to put that here. And up into the crease a little bit. I think a little bit more would be good for this. That looks good. Well, it doesn't look good because it's not blended, but you know what I mean. I've got the color I think where I want it. Okay, not too bad. The microfibers also are really good for picking up shadows, so they're really good for cleaning your brushes in between looks, but also then um, I'll go like this with this microfiber, and it's amazing um, how much color, I don't know if you can see that, it just picked up all this shadow from underneath my eye. It really does a good job, and it's very soft, so it doesn't make the under eye area red. Okay, I need to now go in and blend all of this together a little bit. I'm using that same MAC 224 that I've been using. But this is my Bobbi Brown Custom Palette and I'm going to be using the color Espresso up here. This is one of my favorite um, shadows to use as an eyeliner, but I like to use it wet for the maximum intensity. So what I actually do for this, this is kind of funny, I went to a, what's it called, Princess House party a long time ago, and they have the little contests and stuff that, you know, you answer questions to win prizes, and so I won this little tiny vase from them, and I didn't really have any use for it, but I put a little bit of water in here, and then I use it to wet my makeup brush in here, kind of tap it off, and then I use that in my makeup area for doing my eyeliner, so it's come in really handy for that, and it's really pretty, so... Anyway, I'm always looking for alternate uses for things, I guess. Frame here. And I am using my Grunbacher 1 quarter inch angle shader number 794. I've mentioned to you many times, this is my favorite eyeliner brush. It just does such a great job. I love this thing. 
it really holds its shape. It's just stiff enough, but it's soft against the skin. Okay, so my liner is done, and now I'm going to go back in and add my foundation. I usually do my eyebrows and mascara at the end. It's just sort of, it's sort of out of order, I know, but this is just the way that I kind of flow, and I don't want to forget anything. So I'm going to be using my Guerlain Lingerie de Peau, and this is in number two. So let me see. I've got my Beauty Blender here. I showed you in my most used makeup brushes that I really actually prefer the one from Ulta, the Precision Blending Sponge. I think the Beauty Blender is really nice. For some reason, these black ones I don't enjoy as much. The texture seems a little bit different than the original. I love the Beauty Blender. I think it's great. But for the same price, the Precision Blending Sponge seems to do just as good of a job. And they're $6. So anyway, I'm just going to pump a little of this um, to the back of my hand and get this put around my face. So I just like to dab this in. I guess you can probably already tell I'd already moistened this beauty blender up before I started. My memory card became full and I didn't notice it while I was applying my concealer so I just want to go back and cover that for you really quickly. So I put on a little bit of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I put my Maybelline Dream Lumi over the top of that and blended them together. I used my Beauty Blender again but the pointed end and I just go in and tap that in lightly and then I use the pointed end to get into the corners here. So that was everything that I did on there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of pink eyeshadow from the Dior palette, that last color that I haven't used yet. I'm going to use this in here to just lighten up the inner corners of my eye just a tiny bit. It's not very dramatic on really fair skin. I think if you have a little bit more medium to darker skin tone, you might see a little bit more color from this. But for me, it just lightens up that area slightly. So I'm just going to use, let's see, a fluffy brush. I have my Sigma Taper Blending Brush E40. I'm going to get a little bit of that on here. Not a lot, but just go in and lighten that inner corner in up a little bit. So as you can see, it doesn't do much. It's just a really subtle subtle sort of highlight. That is it. I like to do my brows and my mascara at the end of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation just a little bit. I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and this is in light medium. I think now the name has changed. I want to say this is called Light Plus but this is an older package so this is light medium. And I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown powder brush for this. And because I'm going back with my Urban Decay bronzer, I don't want to do a whole lot because I don't want to get a lot of a powder look, but I still do like to powder right down through the middle of my face where I know that I'm going to get the most oily. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and just sort of go in here and just touch up around my nose and my cheeks and just make sure that that's nicely powder. Next step is to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. I will be using the bronzer, the highlighter, and the blush. I've been so tickled with this palette ever since I got it. I've been using it almost every single day and when I film videos I'm having to try to remember to use something else so that I'm not showing you guys over and over again the same palette but I love this thing and we're going to be traveling next month and I'm going to be taking this with me and I just I don't know I've been so thrilled with this thing. I love the bronzer color it's just really nice. Um, so for this, I'm going to be using my Bobbi Brown Face Blender Brush for just the bronzer portion. So we get a little bit of that on here. And this one isn't so dark that you have to use a really light hand, but, you know, bronzer is something that I definitely like to build up a little bit. I want to start out with a really light bit of it, and then I will go back and add more if I need to. So I mostly just focus right here on the outer edges of my face making that E pattern through here, down onto my chin, and then down the bridge of my nose also. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlighter and I'm just gonna put it right here on my cheekbone, on both sides. And then we'll also put a little bit right here above my eyebrow And then again, right down the bridge of my nose. This has a little fuzzy on it. And that's it. That's all I do. I use a really light hand with this. I don't want to go crazy with it. Next, I am going to apply the blush from here as this well. This is pretty pigmented, so you don't need to use a whole lot. But I love my Bobbi Brown blush brush for this. So I just tap this in really gently. And you can add more, but this is pretty pigmented, so you need to start off slow. So I'm going to make my fish face and go in and apply this. 
so let's see. That's pretty good. It's a nice natural summer look. I don't want it to be too obvious. And then I'm going to go back with the Bobbi Brown Face Blender and just kind of soften up the edges a little bit. With my eye look, I did forget to add one thing that I wanted to show you also. I do like to bring a little bit of the powder below, below my eye as a lower lash line liner. And I like to use this color here, the one that I used in my crease above the eye. That's my favorite one to use underneath the eye as well. So hopefully there won't be too much fallout. I think I'm going to put my microfiber up to help with that a little bit, but I am using my Sephora Pro Shader. I've cleaned this off. This is the number 18. Let me get a little bit of that on the brush and just sort of do this under here. This doesn't have a lot of fallout, so it's not a big deal. Just to kind of recap and go over this for you, this is the color that I used all over my lid and way up into the crease, really close to the brow bone. This was the color that I used in the crease and then blended that out. This was my outer V color that I used for a little bit of definition down here in the corner. This center color is what I use for my brow bone highlight. And then I went back with the pink and used that as a little bit of an inner corner highlight just to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. And now finally here at the end, I'm going back in with this medium shade here and just doing a little bit of color right underneath on my lower lash line. So that is how I use the entire palette. And I need to add mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. That sort of completes the eye and face look. So now let me go ahead and finish off my lips. So I'm going to be lining my lips with my favorite. This is one of my most favorite lip liners. And this is my NYX Nude Pink number 858. I am going to line the lips and then fill them in completely since I am using a gloss today. So let me just go in here. This is such a pretty neutral pink color. This will go with so many different lipsticks and glosses. And finally, to finish off the look, I have my Chanel Rose Sauvage. So let me go in and add that. So the makeup portion of the Get Ready With Me is complete, and now I just need to go in and fix up my hair a little bit. Um, I'm just planning on flat ironing it. It's just very humid again today, so I just want to do something really simple. So what I have been doing is teasing a little bit at my roots with my teasing comb. This is from Sally Beauty Supply. It's from Tool Structure. I'm just going to go add in and add a little bit of lift at my root and then flat iron the ends really quickly. So what I will usually do is just take the rat tail under my comb, kind of go in and section this up a little bit and just add a little bit of tease just to give me a little bit of boost. Nothing too serious, but just helps me get a little bit more lift. I'm not an expert at hair stuff by any, any means. I still struggle with it. That's probably one of my hardest things to work with every day is my hair. This is a really quick way. I'm not doing a lot of sections today. This is just going to be a really, really quick look at how I do this. So I have here my Sea-Doo Revolution flat iron and my big round brush, which I cleaned off, but still has a lot of flyaways here on it. So I'm just going to take this, push this through my hair, and I start about halfway through, halfway through my hair. Let me back up here a little bit and just pull this through. Kim at the Hip Chick Online had great videos on how to use a flat iron, and I learned most of everything that I know about using these from her. Really, really just helped me so very much. So I'm not used to usually doing my hair in here. I usually do this in my bathroom, so forgive me if it's just a little bit awkward. But I'm just, most days, running this through really, really quickly just to smooth things out a bit. And also normally I would section it off if I really wanted to take more time and kind of really go section by section. But this helps me just smooth it out a little bit. So that is it. That completes this very long Get Ready With Me video. That is my entire hair and makeup look. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.